Fox News senior judicial analyst and New York Times best-selling author. Hello, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Judge, great to see you. Good to be with you. What's the name of the book? Well, I had a couple that were bestsellers. I think the one they're talking about is called <laughs> Suicide Pact. Okay, good. Just want, want to give you a little promo. Thank you. Um, so how do you, how, these, there's three that we're talking about here right. who are accusing him directly. One who was a rape victim whose attacker Hillary defended. The three that are accusing him directly are cases that were never proved or were alleged many, many years after the uh, series of events. Mm -hmm. The only case in which Bill Clinton paid out any money was after the case was dismissed because they feared it would be reinstated and he'd have to go through, he was sitting president at the time, more testimony the in the Jones trial. The Paula Jones settlement to me sounds like a nuisance value settlement. He paid her 850000 The vast majority was legal fees. Correct. Only, only 200 went to her. Correct. And none of it was his money. It was all raised. That's uh, what all you do to get rid behalf. of these matters when exactly. you're somebody like the president. United exactly. States. And I must but we don't know whether these are true. We don't know that they're not true. We all know that they're, we know that they all had serious problems with proof, which is why none of them ever were laid out before a, a judge and jury. Now, both Kathleen Willey and Juanita Broderick refused to come forward for some time publicly and then denied that he had done anything to them for some period of time. That, however, doesn't account for the fact that they may have been intimidated. He was a man of power. They may have been reluctant to do so. But the, where I get held up as a lawyer, you tell me, is that the people want to condemn Hillary with not believing them and with, you know, trying to silence them and get rid of them, you know, get him out of the public picture. But there was no proof when she was going after them. I, I got to tell you, I, I don't think Hillary is at fault in this case, in any of these cases. I mean, I'm going to fall out of my chair because the judge well, is defending Hillary Clinton. Well, well, listen, we're not <laughs> talking about emails here. We're talking about a, a, a wife standing by her husband when claims are made against the husband, as to which the proof is, as you say, lacking. Mm -hmm. Claims that were late, claims that lacked credibility, claims that were partially true, claims that were eventually retracted and then reinstated. What the woman child? wouldn't stand by her husband in that circumstance? How about the, the child who Hillary's, whose rapist Hillary defended? You know, the, the file that Trace looked at and I looked at showed Hillary Clinton doing a professional job to defend him. She wasn't a serious, seasoned criminal defense lawyer, but she did what she had to do, what the law permits. Well, that's a first right here in the Kelly file. Judge Andrew Napolitano, great to see you. Good to be with you.